A North Korean robot with arms, a rounded head, and red eyes stares into the camera. Lined up among thousands of other quarantine and healthcare technologies during an exhibition in Pyongyang this week, and we caught sight of it via the North's Korean Central Television on Friday. This particular exhibit was described as an intelligent quarantine robot. The report didn't go into any detail on the robot's functions, but it was being celebrated as part of the North's effort to show how it successfully managed its first recognized COVID-19 outbreak. It seems that if you press the touchscreen on the robot's display, quarantine-related data appears, and it's reminiscent of some of the educational robots that North Korea's previously unveiled over the last couple of years, including technology such as image and voice recognition. But experts here in South Korea believe it's unlikely this robot played an important role in North Korea's COVID-19 quarantine process this year, mainly because it's doubtful it would be equipped with the necessary sensor technology. Sanctions will have made it particularly difficult for the North to access the kind of hardware that we've seen applied to similar devices here in South Korea, also supported by 5G, as autonomous quarantine robots have been deployed to carry out tasks like disinfection, temperature measurement, and mask enforcement in hospital settings in the South. Sanctions wouldn't be the only obstacle for the development of North Korean technology, however. There's been an apparent lack of investment in the North's IT sector during the leadership of Kim Jong-un, especially compared with his father, Kim Jong-il's regime. Under the current leader, North Korea has focused very heavily on the expensive business of weapon development and testing. As such, we haven't seen much in the way of national robot exhibitions. But perhaps there's a sign of change now, with an increasing emphasis on technology being used to support education and telemedicine.